There are countless ways to go viral as a high school basketball player. Some players do it through an incredible mixtape or a monster game, and sometimes, regrettably, they go viral for unsavory reasons. Here are five incredibly popular high school basketball talents, how they became so well known, and what they're up to now. You'd be hard pressed to find many recent high schoolers who had more hype than Nico Mannion. Nico first gained massive popularity as a subject of a Sports Illustrated article that called him a 15 year old, sorta of maybe basketball prodigy. Considering the impressive list of other youth basketball players to be profiled by Sports Illustrated, you can imagine why the Mannion hype train was off the tracks. Playing at Pinnacle High School in Phoenix, Arizona, Mannion showed that his hype was warranted. Some of his highlights include two Arizona Gatorade Player of the Year awards, the National High School Coaches Association Senior Athlete of the Year award, and a spot on the McDonald's All-American team. Mannion got his first college basketball offer in the 8th grade, and as he solidified his consensus 5-star status, he received offers from major D1 programs like Duke and Villanova. Once considered the top player in the 2020 class by 24-7 sports, rivals, and ESPN, Mannion reclassified to the 2019 class and committed to the University of Arizona. Mannion's one year at Arizona was strong, but maybe not quite to the level of a player of his stature was expected to have. He averaged around 14 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, and 1 steal per game, making the all Pac-12 second team and all freshman team. Mannion ended up slipping to the second round, but was drafted by the Warriors with the 48th pick. Mannion's time in Golden State was short-lived as he played just 30 games for the Warriors in the 2020-2021 season and left the team after that. Since then, he's been playing for Virtus Bologna of Italian Liga Basket Serie A where he's helped take the team to new heights. In his first season, Virtus Bologna qualified for the EuroLeague for the first time in 14 years, but even more impressively, the team has won back-to-back -back Super Cups. Up next, we have Tony Farmer, a 6'7 former Ohio high school standout with real NBA potential. A four-star recruit, Farmer had an NBA-ready body at 17 years old and a long list of high major options to choose from, including Michigan State and Indiana. But all of that went away shortly before his senior year when he landed himself behind bars. Facing a mountain of video evidence, Farmer pleaded guilty to kidnapping, robbery and assault charges and was sentenced to three years in jail. It was during this 2012 trial that Farmer first truly went viral after fainting in the courtroom. If this sounds at all familiar, of course we're talking about the infamous Bruh. bra meme which was a massive Vine sensation at the time. Farmer would go on to serve his three years and was released in June of 2015. Obviously, those big-time college offers were no longer on the table, but the then 21-year-old was determined to keep playing. Farmer eventually made his way to Lee College, a D2 program in Baytown, Texas, where he averaged around 17 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. He then declared for the 2017 NBA draft, but went undrafted, likely due to his lack of D1 experience. However, that hasn't stopped Farmer from playing at a pro level, and since then, he's played in Qatar, Mexico, Bolivia, and Argentina. Most recently, he returned to his former Mexican club, the Halicone de Ciudad Abregone, and became an all-star. Marcus Lavette Jr. was a hoop mixtape legend known for his insane handles and ability to score at will. Lavette dominated his first year of high school while playing for the varsity team as a freshman, averaging around 30 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists per game. Not to mention, he had 6 40-plus point games that year, including a 57-point performance. Despite being just 6 feet and 160 pounds, his scoring and on-ball skills were undeniable, and he earned 4-star status as part of the class of 2015, weighing offers between Memphis, Illinois, DePaul, Pittsburgh, UNLV, Kansas, and San Diego State. Lavette Jr. committed to St. John's, intending to be a one-and-done. Unfortunately, due to an academic credit situation, he was forced to redshirt his freshman year as a partial qualifier, but Lavette was well worth the wait, and in his first year, playing for the program, he averaged around 16 points and 4 assists per game and made the All-Big East rookie team. Lavette contemplated turning pro after the season before deciding to run it back, only to unfortunately get injured in his sophomore year and miss a lot of the season. Since then, Lavette has been playing abroad in Italy, Serbia, Turkey, Finland, and most recently for Sporting CP of the Portuguese Basketball League. Up next, we have Brian Bowen. Bowen, aka Tugs, began his high school career at Arthur Hill before transferring to La Lumiere School. As a senior, he averaged around 22 points per game and led his team to a national title at the Dick's Sporting Goods High School Tournament. He also had a big showing at the Jordan Brand Classic, winning co-MVP with a game-high 26 points, including going 6-for-7 from downtown. 
Bowen was the last five-star recruit in the class of 27 to commit to his school, eventually choosing Louisville over the likes of Michigan State, Arizona, UCLA, Oregon, Texas, DePaul, and Creighton. But for as good as he was, his five-star status is not the reason he's most famous today. Bowen is best known for his now legendary FBI college basketball recruiting scandal, the fallout of which was swift and heavy. Louisville coach Rick Pitino and AD Tom Urich were quickly placed on administrative leave before they were eventually fired. Bowman's punishment was less severe, but it did put him in a very unenviable position. While Bowen's scholarship wasn't taken away, he was suspended from all team activities and staying in Louisville simply didn't make any sense. Bowen then tried to transfer to South Carolina, understanding that he'd have to miss a year due to the transfer rules. But upon learning that he could be forced to miss at least another year due to his alleged recruiting violations, he opted to roll the dice and began his pro career instead. Bowen went abroad to the MBL and played for the Sydney Kings, re-establishing his eligibility for the 2019 draft. But after a down year, Bowen went undrafted and has since bounced around the G League with the Pacers and the Timberwolves G League affiliates. Still, at only 24 years old, He's currently averaging around 14 points and 8 rebounds for the Iowa Wolves. Closing out the list, we have Malik Newman. Newman first rose to fame for his incredible run at Callaway High School in Jackson, Mississippi, where he led the school to an improbable four straight MHSAA Class 5A championships. He was such a local legend that he even got his number retired after his senior season ended. Newman averaged around 30 points, six rebounds and four assists per game in his final year and was universally considered a top player in the class of 2015. Rivals.com ranked him as the eighth overall player in the class while ESPN ranked him 10th. Either way you slice it, this dude was legit. Initially, the five-star prospect stayed close to home at Mississippi State before transferring to the University of Kansas. After redshirting a year, Newman went on to average around 14 points, five rebounds, and two assists while simultaneously earning the Big 12 Tournament MVP honors and helping lead the team to a Final Four berth. Despite solid numbers and an impressive postseason run, Newman went undrafted in 2018 and bounced around the G League for the first few years of his career. But in 2020, he finally had a chance to live his NBA dream when he signed a 10-day contract with the Cavs. It wasn't much, but Newman played four minutes of game time, scoring two points on two free throws. After that, he spent time playing in Turkey and Israel before getting one more taste of NBA action, this time scoring eight points in eight minutes again with the Cavs. Most recently, Newman has taken his talents to Eftedor Sirtov in Russia, where he leads the team with 18.9 points per game. And that concludes part four of our Where Are They Now viral basketball player series. If you haven't checked out parts one, two, or three, you can do so by clicking the link here. Thanks for watching, and of course, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. We're currently dropping two videos a week that you're not going to want to miss out on. But right now, only about 1% of our audience is currently subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all things basketball.